Today's lesson is about distributed forces. So distributed forces, uh, more on continuation to nung parallel force systems natin. May distributed force, no? Uh, usually, yung mga past lessons, we talk about uh, concentrated forces. Big sabihin, the force acts on one point only. Pag sinabing distributed force, the force uh, is distributed, no? nakakalat into many points. Hindi siya sa isang point nag act but rather maybe in a line or an area nag act So, our first example ng distributed force is what we call a uniformly distributed force or uh, dahil structures yung pag-uusapan natin, we also refer to forces as itong term na to, which is a load. Okay? A uniformly distributed load. Okay. I have here an example ng uniformly distributed load. So, the load is distribu distributed along the length 3 meters. And ang kanyang magnitude is 5 kN per meter. Okay? Itong 5 kN per meter na ito, hindi nito ibig sabihin na every 1 meter merong 5 kN. So, hindi ganun. Ang ibig sabihin nito, yung Yung load ko is distributed in such a way that every meter, the total, is 5 kN. Not necessarily isang 5 kN kada meter. Okay? Hindi, hindi ganito yung ibig sabihin niya na, na 5 kN and then 1 meter, 5 kN ulit. Hindi ganon ang ibig sabihin. Ibig sabihin lang, uh, for every meter, to, wari 1 meter to, yung total load dyan is 5 kN. Okay? Now, this is an example of a rectangular load. Rectangular kasi rectangle, di ba? 3 meters by 5 kN per meter. Now, ang distributed forces natin, meron silang equivalent loading. Uh, I call it the equivalent point load. No, Merong equivalent point load that also represents the effect, the external effects, of this rectangular load. So, ito yun. Uh, let's call that equivalent load R. Yan, yung concentrated or yung point load na yan, which is point load dahil nag sa isang point. So, nakagray dito yung original load para makita natin. No? Uh, R will uh, act on a point that is in the center of the rectangle. So, ano ba ang center ng rectangle na to? Siyempre, kung 3 meters yung base, yung gitna niya, Nandito, nasa 1.5 meters sa 1.5 meters on left and right. So, nandito siya sa gitna. And the magnitude of the equivalent point load is, as you can see here, it's 15 kilonewtons. Paano nakuha yung 15 kilonewtons? Minultiply ko, no? Yung 5 kilonewton per meter at saka yung base na 3 meter para makancel yung meters, kilonewtons. So, lang yung matitira. So, 15 kilonewton meter. Uh, ang concept nun is that the magnitude of the equivalent point load is actually the, the area of the distributed force. Angle to. So, base time side lang, di ba? Mumultiply mo lang 5 at saka 3 and we get 15. Let's have the second kind of a distributed load. Uh, this is a triangular distributed load or force. Uh, which we also call as a uniformly varying load. Nagbabary siya uniformly. Here's the example of the triangular load na may base na 4 meters. Nagbabary yung load from 0 sa tip. So, wala. Walang load doon. Hanggang palaki siya ng palaki, magiging 6 kN dito sa, sa dulo niya, sa B. So, uniformly varying kasi nagbabary siya uniformly. Ibig sabihin, line yung nagko-connect sa kanya. So, we have a triangular load. And of course, kapag distributed loads, meron silang equivalent point load. So, here is the equivalent point load. Nikita mo, R, kasulat, is equivalent point load. Has an area, uh, as a magnitude, which, which is equal to the area of the load. So, ano ba ang area ng triangle? Nikita natin sa baba, no? R, magnitude of R is equal to 1 half. Base ng triangle is 4 meters. Height nung triangle is ito, 6 kN per meter. So, cancel na naman yung meters. Matitira is kN and you will get the magnitude of R 
Okay, the magnitude of the equivalent point point load is equal to 12 kilonewtons. So, 12 kilonewtons na siya. Now, unlike doon sa rectangular load natin, uh, na-locate natin agad yung rectangular load kasi simple lang, yun, nasa gitna siya. No, Mag-a-act sa gitna. Dito sa triangular load, unknown pa yon yung X-bar kung saan nag-a-act yung uh, point load natin para maging equivalent. No? Unknown. So, saan ba ang gitna ng triangle? So, pag-uusapan natin yan on, on our later lessons, yung saan ang gitna ng triangle or we formally call it the centroid of the triangle. But, in this case, i-apply muna natin yung natutunan natin which is yung Barignon's theorem. So, sabi ko, di ba, this distributed load is equivalent or equal to this uh, concentrated load. So, kung equal sila, may dalawang bagay na masusunod which is first, yung resultants nila must be equal. So, of course, yung resultant nito is 12 kilonewtons. This is ito, para sa lang resultant. And second is yung moments nila dapat equal. So, dapat yung moment nito at saka yung moment nito parehas. And this is also related dito kay uh, sa theorem ni Barignon that the summation of moments of parts is equal to the moment of the whole. Now, since R is the resultant nitong triangular load natin, yan yung whole, no? Moment of the whole with respect to A is R times moment, uh, moment arm na X bar. So, meron tayong R, hinahanap natin yung X. Now, paano yung moment of parts? Gagawa natin ng paraan para makakuha tayo ng parts. Itong triangle na to, slice natin into parts. So, isa slice natin ng maraming maliliit na rectangle. Maraming maliliit na rectangle with uh, width of dx at syempre yung height niya, y. Okay, ang distance ng ating maliit na, tri na rectangle from A is x and x. So, Ano yung load ng maliit na rectangle? Di ba nakita na natin na ang magnitude ng load na to is equal sa area ng maliit na, na rectangle. So let's call that differential P or maliit na load P is equal to area ng rectangle which is by dx. So yan yung load. Ayan. Now, sabi dito, summation of moment of parts. So moment of parts. So, ano bang parts ng triangle? Ito yung maraming maliliit na rectangle na to. So, isum up natin silang lahat. Isum up. So, yan. Isum up. S. Um. Ang alin? Ng moment ng maliit na part. So, yung YDX. Then, yung load. Ang moment arm niya is it is at the distance X from A. Okay, sum up lahat mula dito sa point A hanggang kay point B. So, kung, kung dito mo isi-set yung 0, so from 0 hanggang kay 4 meters. So, from 0 to 4 meters. So, ito yung magiging summation of moment of parts. Okay, so ito na yung barignot theorem natin kanina, di ba? Y, X, D, X, no? nilipat ko lang yung isang X, no? Uh, from 0 to 4, integrate equals R, which is 12 kilonewtons x bar. Now, hindi natin ma-integrate to kasi kasi dx eh. So, so, dapat x lahat ng variable pero meron tayong y dito. So, mula doon sa drawing natin kanina in triangle this is 6 4 meters. Ito, 6 kilonewton per meter. Uh, dito yung y at ang kanyang distance mula sa point A I X. From ratio and proportion, may kita mo yung Y over X dahil similar triangle to, no? Itong maliit na triangle at saka yung red triangle na malaki, similar triangle sila. So, a Y over X must be equal to anong nagko-correspond sa Y? Siyempre, yung 6 over ano nagko-correspond sa X? Yung base na 4 meters. 4. Or, y is equal to 3 over 2 x. So, ito, nagamitin natin siya doon sa 
equations natin para mawala na yung y variable and we will get the following 3 over 2 x yan, pinalitan ko na yung y times x dx from 0 to 4 is equal to palitan ko na yung r dito ha gawin natin 12 x bar now doing the integral we will get the following Okay, x cube over 3. Uh, hindi ko na ilagay yung plus C, but the limits is from 0 to 4, yung upper at saka lower limit niya. Yan, equal to 12x bar. Pag sinubstitute mo na, syempre x cube so 0, wala na. So, yung upper limit na lang yung substitute natin. We will get the following. 32 is equal to 12x bar. And solving for x bar, of course, so, makuha natin, 32 over 12 is 8 over 3. Okay, huwag kalimutan yung units. It's 8 over 3 meters. Yeah. So, mula doon sa kanina, uh, ito yung original triangle. The resultant will be here at, this is 12 kilonewtons. At siya ay mag at 8 over 3 meters from the left side. Of, of course, itong kabila, 4 over 3 meters. Now, uh, pag napag-aralan na nating mabuti yung centroids, malalaman natin that for triangles pala, the centroid acts at 2 thirds of the base at saka 1 third of the base. So, kung base natin ito, 4, so 2 third ng 4 is 8 over 3, 1 third ng 4 is 4 over 3 meters. Later on, sa topic ng centroids, we will tackle more of this. But anyway, ito yung, yung explanation niya using the concept of Barignon's theorem, yung principle of moment. So, ganito natin i-locate. Like mo yung video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe!